This thing's over a hundred years old. How'd you come by it? It was in a legacy. I see. Quite a catch you've made. Here you go, lad. Treat this metal well, here. Yeah? Sure thing. Experience has increased my skills. So now Fall from Grace has leveled up. She gets five to law. Eight. Okay, and she gets ten hit points. Not too shabby. Yeah, I can't increase anything else. Right. I've got 40k for that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna head back to the market square. I should have done this first, but I keep forgetting everything. Because I need to rest, so then I get access to my spells again. Currently, if I go into a fight and try and use spells, the only thing I could do is try and make friends with them. Which is not gonna help me out. I mean, Dakon has a few spells, but even still. He's got a lot of Reign of Anger. All right. Do I actually have any more memorization slots? Actually, wait. Power of one. Mm. Increases target strength score by a certain number of points. Eh. None of these are really that great, unfortunately. Then none of them are attack spells. I might go to the market just to see if I can buy any level 2 attack spells. In which case, it would make more sense to do that first. I just need something better than Infernal Orb. I also don't remember which guy is the one that sells magic. I think he's the just random general stuff, weapons... Drinking your I don't know, it might be this guy. I'll just ask about... Yeah, need of some spells. There we go. Scroll of Ice Knife. Level 2. Well, there you go. Is there any others? These are level 1s. Scroll of Blur. Cone of Cold. That's a level 5. Okay, I'll just get Ice Knife. Perfect. Don't think I have anything I can sell. Right, boom. Whoa. Scroll of Ice Knife. Copy spell. Yay! Curious ironwork. So this is a shimmering piece of filigreed metalwork that you picked up in the Great Foundry. Looks almost gauzy. Sharp edges protrude from it. You have no idea what to do with it right now, but it must be important if you left it behind for yourself. Ah, uh, okay. Different, I guess. Hmm. By the way, we got it. Right, I need to speak with Giltspur. And I want to... Can I just get it from trading? There we go. I want a room. Oh, that's different. Oh, we all rested at least. So, I need to identify this. Spell. Unfolding puzzle. There we go. Usable only by the nameless one. So this is a shimmering piece of... Oh, right here, we already, didn't, already read that. All you need to do to activate it is find the proper key. Do I just use it? I'm quick saving, I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. Okay. You unfold the shimmering metal and immediately it begins crackling with life. It begins forming itself into a, me into a metallic circle. Hovering in the air, there's something in your possession that has activated this portal. You get the feeling that you probably ought to make sure you have everything you need. You might not be back in Sigil for a long time. Step through the portal. And here we are in Ravel's Maze. Oh boy. What the fuck? Okay, this place is rather big. Did I just crash my game? <laughs> oh my god, I did. <laughs> fuck me. I did quick save, so I'm not really that bothered. It just sucks that the game fucking crashed. That's twice now. There we go. All hooked in and ready to go again, I guess. Quick save the marketplace. Son of a bitch. Wait. I didn't quick... What? Ho, ho, ho. Hold on. Oh, it was there, not the marketplace. I'm an idiot. There we go. Woo! close one. That's twice now the game's crashed for me using the map. It's, it just makes me scared to use the map. Step through. Oh, a quick save in here again then. I'm gone. Right, question is, do I want to be 
Actually, if I wanted to be a fighter, I'd be point, kind of pointless. Oh, uh, maybe not. I could just take that from her. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind being a mage, though. Oh, dear. Oh. Okay. Oh, shite. No way. What the fuck are these? Trigger. Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh, uh, no. God, I'm just messing up left and right. Right, quick save three in the lower ward. I learned Ice Knife. Did I do anything with it? Hell no. Get rid of the Infernal Orb. Memorize all of Ice Knife. Double check I don't have any other slots. I do have one more. Elysium's Tears or Ball Lightning. What does that one do? Hmm. Could go with two of each. I've got a bunch of fours. Fire and Ice. Oh god, this is such a mess. <laughs> Did not intend for it to be such a mess. It's just, I'm forgetting so many things. Right, okay. Now I'll rest again. God damn. Um, I like to buy something. I want to buy a bed. You're rested. Perfect. Now save. God. <laughs> oh dear. And we're there. Jesus. I'm right, I'm actually prepared, I think. <laughs> oh god, this is such a mess. I apologize. <laughs> Just goes to show I'm not used to recording again. Alright, so what do I want to do? Uh, I think, therefore I am. I think. Yeah, so that's that. Mort, fall yes. from grace. She can only do spiritual hammer. That does hurt the enemy. Yeah, sure. On uh, tr the Trigit, the Con, Still Reign of Anger, and myself. I have a lot of different spells I could use. I'll try Ice Knife. I'll use it on this one. Kaboom! Oh my. Oh, that's the Spirit Hammer. <laughs> Jesus. Did I not use Ice, ice Knife? Oh wow. Okay, these aren't as, as tough as I thought. Yeah, they're not really that bad. Alright, cool. Did they drop anything? Nope. Why am I on the, like... There we go, just move the people. I'm gone. I don't know why it was on the spell cursor. Oh, there's more. If it's only one of them? God, they are weird. Then I think they'll go down pretty damn fast. They don't do that much damage either. I think I had a harder time, um, in the modern maze. The enemies there suck. They were doing like 20 damage with each hit. So, you know. Oh no, a critical miss! That kinda sucks. Get better, Modern. Jesus. Or oh, not him even. Modern's the species. I always forget his name. So, I guess we're just. Oh, okay, they do 9 damage. And again. Okay. This Fall from Grace gonna decide to heal me on her own. Oh, it's a trap. Oh! Not him, no! Um, I really don't know where to go. I get the feeling we're just trying to find Ravel. In the meantime. Is it just the one? Let's see, wait, use. Rain of Anger. Boink! Rain of Anger's so good. God, it really is. At least I'm getting instantly owned. Oh, another! Oh crap. Mort! Oh, I only did 3 damage. Sheesh. Who the hell did 18 damage? And someone did 21. Probably not him, actually. He's surprisingly useful. Oh, I clicked the floor, didn't I? Whoops. It must be not him. God damn. I'm really scared about using the map, too. I just don't want to break the game. Another? Damn. These things are everywhere. Don't go after Anna. Damn it. You douche. There we go. I like how even as a mage I can do melee combat. I'm certain I saw a pot lover here. Or something. 
I did. That might be where it wants me to go. Portal detected. Again? Okay, Ravel, you're a bitch. Wait, cannot say while hostile creatures are nearby. Oh, I didn't even see it. My bad. Oh then. Kill it, for Christ's sake. They're all just charging in. Don't know why Nordum's not shooting it. What the? Where's Anna going? God, they really do get screwed. Love it. Right, so the question is now whether or not I want to just continually search around the area. The biggest issue to doing that is the fact there are traps everywhere. Hi? What if I use detect traps? If she's now detecting traps. I'm gone. That work? Hmm. Oh. I don't think she can detect tra yeah, when we're in combat. Unfortunately. No, I don't know who's doing the like 20 plus damage. It's not Nordum. I'm almost certain anyway. Hmm? So go back to detecting traps. All right. Wait, this uh oh, there's portals everywhere. Oh no. I never even thought about the fact that there could be multiple. Shite. Oh well. Oh dear. Although to be fair, I don't really know what the portals... Oh yeah, I didn't go back to detecting traps. Whoops. Please just kill one of them. Thank you. They did 23 damage. Oh, Fall from Grace is being gracious enough to heal. Black at the very least. Hmm. Oops, I didn't realise I'd only selected Dacon. Might be. Wait, there's another portal here. Oh god, there's portals everywhere. Okay. I was gonna say, I get the feeling that just because there's a portal does not mean it's the right way. She's probably just somewhere in this area. Oh, damn. The moment I spot her is when I'm- oh, I didn't realise I stopped right next to it. Error! Error! Critical miss. Oh wow, twice. Jesus. Both of us are just getting screwed. I know I should go into detecting traps every single time I'm not in a fight, but oh well. I'm hoping I can just spot her. Because the moment I do, I want to cast um, the Charisma spell. Just because it might help out. That's what my hope is. I also really want to go onto the map, but I don't want it to crash my game. More Trigids. You died. Screw it. Quick save. Map. Okay, so it's mostly just the middle that I've not been to. Okay. Aha! This looks like it could lead to something. Oh. Oh dear. Are there two of them? Oh, there is. Great. Kill it before the other one gets here. Yeah! I managed to do three damage. It seems these things have one hell of a, um, a range when it comes to how much damage they can actually inflict. Between three and like 25. I'm looking around, I don't see anybody at this moment in time. So I'm just seeing if I can spot someone that looks like a person. Oh, no. Cause I have a feeling that as soon as I get close to her, that's when it would probably just trigger some auto dialogue or something. Alright. Hmm. So whereabouts are we? I still think it's probably like towards the middle.
but I don't know. May as well just uncurve that. What happened? Oh, magic resistance. It must have set off a trap. Or something. Oh shit, there she is. Oh god. Looks like an old man. Friends. So now my charisma is 23. Yeah, should be fine. I need 300 at uh, 750,000 XP to level up now. So this pl the plump hooked nose crone before you doesn't look like a myth. She's outfitted in a simple if dirty brown shirt and leggings with a number of pouches hanging from her frayed belt. She seems oblivious to your presence, more concerned with the tangled black roots woven together to form the floor of the maze than anything transpiring around her. Study her for a moment. So a tangle of jagged grey hairs juts from beneath the crone's hood, spreading down her shoulders like a mass of twisted grey roots. Sickly blue-grey flesh hangs in loose folds from her face, her narrow chin, long and sharp, juts forward in an extreme underbite, and two filthy yellow canines protrude, or protrude from her lower jaw like small tusks. Rabel? Uh-oh. Oh dear. The crone's voice is thick and scratchy, as if trying to force its way past layers of dust. Her eyes are a dull bloody red, with black veins running through them like tree branches. As she gazes at you, a strange crawling sensation passes through you, like snakes burrowing beneath your skin. Greetings, Rabel. Ninety! My pretty thing, have you returned at last? You were gone so long, I afraid you forgot poor, lonely Ravo. Hmm. So, oh. Mabel's face splits into a grotesque smile, displaying a row of chipped yellow fangs. I did forget for a time now I have returned. How could I forget you, Ravel? I missed you. But you hid yourself in a place that was difficult for me to reach. Come now. Did you not wish my company? So, ah. Uh, Ravel's yellow smile widens, peeling back the folds of her skin, and she cackles softly. Such sweet words. You already are a knowing the answer of your asking, my precious man. I scattered clues like caldrops. And these were my means of a guiding you to my garden. I have feared it was you who had forgot. I. Are you sure you did no such thing? I have returned to you at last. Have you? But what has returned? She squints at you with her black veined eyes and hisses softly. Let Ravel see how you've affaired in this life. She reaches out as if to caress you. Oh god, and you suddenly notice her fingers are talons, each fingernail filthy and wickedly sharp. Oh great. Let her touch you. Her ragged talons trace their way across your skin, and in their wake you feel the same strange tingling sensation you felt when Ravel first looked at you. Her eyes dim somewhat, and her talons slide gently across the contours of her, your face, lingering on your scars. Wait. Ravel's fingers, or finger withdraws. She looks at you sadly. Oh, sad, sad, broken half thing. All the pieces. She squints at you again. No longer the one Ravel knew you were. Are you still a broken after all this sad, sad time? Broken? What do you mean? A body you possess, but a body of knowledge you do not. She points her ragged talons at your chest, at your scars. Many and such, such scars you have, all are scrawled on your skin. Many tales do, does your skin tell. What are you talking about? Or what tales does my skin tell? Your scars and tattoos shout to me. Here is a man in confrontation with the world. Ravel makes a crooning noise, not unlike a dying bird. He has such tales as would shrivel even a hag's ears. Tell me these tales, I would know them. The tales are many. They echo of Im well, balance imbalanced, trials of war, battles with fiendish elements, and a creature that feeds on others from afar to sustain, it sustain itself, and of torments. Such torments flesh has never known. So balance imbalance. Divided in two you were when your mortality was peeled from you. No longer balanced, much are broken in the separation, both a blessing and a mistake. But more mistake than blessing, Ravel thinks. You took my, my mortality? How? Forgotten the how of it I have, have I? Ravel's gaze dims for a moment, the black veins swimming in her eyes. And even if I remembered <clears throat> it, I would never do it twice. Not forgotten the moment, have I? After the break, I see in the pain stream from your veins. Your, 
Your cries like a wailing child, every bit of your being filled with emptiness. Terrible, even for these eyes. So that is why I feel hollow inside, because my mortality is gone. Very well. What are these other tales, my skin tells? Trials of war. Great, great trials of war, much too... Much to be borne by any, any mortal thing. What war? Where? This war touches all, my precious half-men. There is no place where it caresses... or where its caress is not felt. Did it touch you? Ravel's voice drops almost bitter. To this, Ravel says, I. That would explain the scars. What these other tales must tell? Battles with fiendish elements. Two fiends, but heads. Ravel sniffs as if in contempt. Their tiny heads filled with ideas on how the planes should be, yet can never be, or the planes they would be no longer. Such foolishness, I'm not certain I understand. Huh, okay. A creature that feeds on others from afar. No base hunger do you feel, but far, far more terrible one. The ones boil beneath your skin, and such a cost. Hungers? What do you mean? I know not. Not? Not the nature nor the cause of these hungers. But heed this, coming events cast their shadows before them, my precious half men. There is no a saying of what these events will be, not even with Ravel's eyes. What the other tales? So this is the torment. These torments? What are these torments you speak of? Updated my journal. A lodestone pulls iron to it, and so do you, my precious half men. But it is not iron, but tormented souls. As others suffer, they are drawn to you, but your path becomes theirs. She makes a sweeping gesture. Do you not see them in the eyes of those that have travelled with you, my companions? What do you mean? Do you wish to explain, Gith? Ravel throws a bla burning glance at Dacon, tempered with a fang smile. Vows may prove tighter than any chain, no? The manacles of a race once enslaved, now a slave again. Con is silent, but his blade shifts at Ravel's words. His blade darkens, the edge sharpening until the Karak itself seems to carry a horrible malevolence about it. Watch your words, Ravel. The Cogbox. Ravel's gaze drifts to Nordum. Once it knew only suffering's definition, but now it feels its sting. There is no room for two in the world of ones and zeros, no place for mayhap in a house of trues and falses, and no green with envy in a black and white world. When it discovers how the planes turn, when it discovers the truth behind loyalty and illogic, more torments will it know. Ravel, leave my companions alone. I have quite The Chattering Skull. Ravel doesn't bother to even look at Mort, as if he is beneath her notice. Are the quips enough of a shield for what lies buried inside your brain box? Hmm? What speaks truths when lies suffice? Mort, what do you mean, Ravel? The Abyssal Temptress. Ravel sneers, her yellowed fangs piercing her purpled lips as she squints at fall from grace. A skin so fair, lips so rich, eyes that might cause you to forget Ravel herself, and yet she suffers more than any other. When one turns on their nature, many are the torments that arise from such a betrayal. Ravel. Grace replies softly, almost cautiously, I've come to terms with my- You lie, succubus. Ravel's lips peel back in a snarl. You lie. Do not dare lie to me, when your heart is a book to me. Every word you spit screams of your torment. Have a care with your words, Ravel. Enough of this. Uh, Ravel gestures at Anna, as if she is for sale upon an auction block. Look upon the feisty tiefling. Such a f such fiery hair and voice. Ravel smiles, bearing her rows of yellow teeth. Shall I speak of your torment, tiefling? Anna seems paralyzed, her eyes wide, as Ravel turns her black veined gaze to her. You can see her trembling, her heart beating fast. No, no, I shall not speak of it. Ravel's voice drops, almost in exhaustion, and the smell fades from her face. Grown tired of cruelties and torments, Ravel has. The world is a jagged enough place. She turns to you, her bloodied eyes, or bloody eyes dimmed, and she sighs. And my precious, precious half-man, for you the greatest torment of all. Life forevermore. Can it be life that cares for you as Rabel does? She gnashes her yellow tusks with a horrid clacking noise. One so brave, so passionate, so terribly lost. Sad, sad. Rabel, why did you make me a mortal? I must know. A puzzle of bone and skin you were, always intriguing. And the most beloved of all who came to me. Petitioning, requesting, pleading, pleasing, pleading for help. Ravel stares hard at you, her black-veined ember eyes narrowing, so hard to see her past the scars to dig up the man who once was underneath. Can you tell me anything about who I once was? A shadow with substance, a seeking that which casts the light. I know you more and know, no. Ravel pauses, her eyes dimming, no more than I know the nature of any man. 
Cross paths have we a man tainted with undeath, still feeling the pangs of separation, and an old withered crone, now all imprisoned. Cross paths? Seems it that we are a meeting for the first time. No, no, not, not, not. Rabel seems confused for a moment, then shudders as if throwing off a weight. Not at all. An echo of a future meeting this is, or a past meeting depending on which way time is facing. So this, this meeting echoes a meeting in the past. The now and then very similar, so can, so tangled, the now and then is. Both mirrored in each other, once and again you come afore me with a problem to challenge me for a solution to an impossibility. Mabel hisses at you, her eyes, and her eyes blaze. Beautiful, ungrateful, beloved man. What was the impossibility I asked you to solve? Rivel doesn't seem to have heard you. She still seems to be in the past, her eyes dim, as if looking far away. Such fire in your eyes enough to stir a grey lady's heart. Passion to be free, but when freed, the fire in your eyes gutted out. With the separation, your life has shed all meaning. I fear, Rivel smells with her yellowed fangs and then clicks them together, as if laughing. Mayhap you should sit on your hind legs and limp your forepaws. Mayhap Rivel will give you another scrap of knowing. If begging will bring me answers, then I beg you, Ravel. Tell me what you know. I need your help in remembering what happened. A gentleman, a gentled heart now. Ravel's black-veined eyes glint, and the corner of her mouth twists upwards, like a snake. Has life has softened you? Ah, but one can hope. Ravel, I have many questions I wish to ask you. Oh, more questions do you have? Ravel croons softly, but there is an edge to it. As if she is reprimanding you. <laughs> tisk tisk. Well, you have already asked so many. Ravel's black-veined eyes take on a curious gleam. The time for my question is now, half-man. Very well, Ravel. Ask your questions. Know this and know Ravel's law. If you do not answer my question, no more of your questions will I answer. My precious man, step politely with the answers, or the asking shall tear you apart. Understood. Ooh. I would know why you travelled here with these others. Know not the place they were travelling to. Of course they knew. Oh, here we go. We're basically just sucking up to her. Of course they knew. Who would not want to travel here to meet with you, beautiful Ravel? Few opportunities does life provide such a, for such a meeting. They wished to see if the tales of your power and beauty were true, as I knew them to be. So Ravel stares at you for a moment in silence, then her face splits into a horrendous grin, her row of yellowed fangs glistening in the faint light of her eyes. Ah, my precious man, you carry only words. A blackish tongue darts from her purple lips and rolls around the rim of her mouth, as if in anticipation of a meal, but you are well armed indeed. Only truths do I speak, Ravel. She nods slowly and her grin fades. And they travel with you willingly? They chose to walk my path with me. As I said, who wouldn't what? Chose? Ah, a dangerous word. Is it so? Yes. Yes? Ravel throws a blank veined glance at Dakon, her voice like an arrow. Is it choice, Gith? Is it? Or is it a matter of two skies? Dakon's blade bleeds into a vicious dead black, mirroring his eyes, and to your surprise a Karak edge silently, silently splits into jagged fangs. Ravel, leave him be. I will answer your questions, not them. What are the cogbox? Okay, she's doing this again. She turns to nod him. Sneering, what does it know of choice? She snaps her fingers like the sound of cracking bone. There is only obey... and obey, hmm? Query. What does Nodham define choice? Define choice. The act of choosing, selection, the right or opportunity to choose. Nodham, stop. This is between Ravel and I. Look, Ravel. She turns to Mart. Skull, skull, skull. Ravel clicks her tongue after each word. And her smile widens. Your expression is difficult, difficult to read without the skin wrapping, but I feel your fear from there. Coming here was not your choice. Well, I didn't have anything better to do, except go to one of the ladies' mazes and meet with... Meet one of the evilest creatures ever to set foot in Sigil, so I said, sure, why not? Mark, be quiet. Ravel, I... Be quiet? Mark clicks his teeth. Like the hells I will. I think we've listened to this crow and rattle her bone box enough. And now she's got some pair of stones saying I haven't got any skin. So what if I don't? Obviously, the fact she has skin has done wonders for her. Or for her looks. Does she think I like being naked all the time? And another thing. Mark, cut it out. Ravel, look. The succubus. Ravel squints. Did she have a choice? Mayhap in her smooth-skinned mind of soft silks and hard truths. Maybe choice. But no, a sense it must experience all and to refuse to come, not a sense it would you be. Still no choice. Enough of this. The tiefling, the fiery one. Rainbow cackles softly and her eyes kindle as if amused. No choice at all. When you f when you feel instead of think, there is little room for choice. 
and it makes no response. Rabel's mere presence seems to have silenced her. Her tail has stopped flickering. However, I'll stop flickering, however, and her eyes have lost their hard edge. Enough with, enough with this, Rabel. What other questions did you have? God. There'll be time enough for you to speak, my precious man. Rabel taps a talon against her yellow tusks. The question next. Oh, this question next. What do you feel for these that have come with you? Do they matter in your heart? She smiles, black veins dancing in her eyes. Or are they tools for your will? Hmm. So, whether they matter. They matter to me. Even the Geth 